is Carl Brown with GuitarLessons365.com. Have a classic for you today. We're going to learn how to play Wind of Change um, by the Great Scorpions. So this um, is in standard tuning. Um, and it's, it's an interesting song. A lot of it's on keyboards. Um, and then it's got some really cool guitar stuff, like the solo that I just played. I think it's like one of the best solos of that genre, that era. Um, uh, but we're going to take a look at that a little bit later. Um, first, we're going to take care of all the rhythm guitar parts and all the cool stuff. Now, we have Rudolf Schenker, who plays that solo that I just played, and then we have Matthias Jabs that plays all the fills that you hear in the song. Um, and there's a lot of synths going on. So what I'm going to do is, even when there's these synth parts, I'm going to show you the chords that the synths are actually playing, so you can just kind of do it on guitar. Um, and then when, so you'll hear like that in the verse. Um, and in this intro section here, um, those same chords are played later on in the song, the verse with like an acoustic guitar and stuff too. So, um, so let's just start here with the intro. Now this intro, underneath the whistling, um, and underneath those guitar fills, we have basically these chords. turns around it goes back to the the app but it does this through twice and then it ends with a, with a C going into the verse all right so that's just an F major chord F major bar chord and then to a D minor chord now you can play the D I played my D minor a lot with a the pinky there in the, on the B string you can use the third finger it just depends on what chords before and after which one I use then back to the F Can't whistle like that to the D minor, and then at A. So after F to D minor twice, then we go to A minor. So this is really just taking care of these like uh, keyboard chords, and then the actual guitar part comes in. So that guitar part. Now this this tone has got a nice clean tone, and I've got like a, a tri course. Um, in front of the amp uh, that gives it that kind of sparkly sound. And then I'm also kind of out of phase here with the pickups. I'm using the fourth pickup position here. So it's just like the one right next to the neck there. Um, so um, that's the, op let's just hold a D minor chord here. I hit the open D and then go, just playing the first, second, and third strings. And then the next is based around an A minor, but you really don't need the full A minor chord since you're not hitting the uh, D string. So you can just play it instead of like this, play it like this because it helps getting to the next chord a little bit easier. Open A, then open E string, B string at the first fret, second fret on the G. Then here we can just now use that finger to grab the third fret on the low E string, then the third fret on the B, then the open B, and open G. So all together. And like I said, at the beginning of the song, you'll go back to that and just start all that again. to the verse. So instead of going to that F, you're going to go to a C chord. All right, so what is Matthias Jabs doing over that? So I'm going to still keep the same setup here that I have with the out of phase pickup. It sounds like this. So it's over the synth chords. So we're going to start with a quick little F major triad here. Now it's very dynamic. 
it plays it very lightly sometimes and kind of digs into the others. So that's just the tenth fret across the D, G, and the B. And then. And that's going to be a hammer on from 10 to 12 on the A. Then you're going to go over to the 10th fret on the G and the B. And then you're going to play that at the 12th fret across the B, G and the B. Pull back off to the 10s, over to 12 on the D. So with, just let that breathe a little bit and then start over. And when you do that maneuver, now you're going to add again another one of those. So hitting the 10s, back to the 12. So we just... And then... And then you're going to do a hammer now. So you're holding the 10 and 12. Hammer on the... On the 10s, I'm sorry. Then hammer on the 12s, pull back off to the 10s, back to the 12s. So we have this... And then you come down here, and he plays this a little bit different live than he does on the recording. Live, I really see him do this, uh, like that. Uh, and that's just a bar across the fifth fret there on the G to the B. And then you hammer on seventh fret on the G, pull back off, and then five on the G again to seven on the D. But on the recording, he's actually holding this note. So he doesn't play it like he does on the recording, but so you can see which one you like better. And it's the same lick. Instead of this, you're just going to hold the note, this note on the B string. And then to that same picking pattern. Second time around, same thing. And then we get to the verse, which um, initially when you hear it is just keyboards, and then later on you'll hear those chords strummed on an acoustic guitar. So, um, so when we get to to this, um, the chords, let me just kind of play through them real quick, just strumming each one once, so you can kind of um, see uh, the timing of everything. Listening to the wind of change An August summer night Soldiers passing by Listening to the wind of change And then back to the intro. All right, so that is just going to be uh, a C major chord to a D minor and back to a C. And then it ends with that same little arpeggio figure. Now, over the verse, Matthias Jabs is doing more fills. He's doing some mutes, kind of some random mutes. And then he'll most of this stuff is based around four notes, and I'm just going to let you deal with it because he's kind of randomly doing stuff the whole song. He's sliding into the seventh fret there on the uh, on the D string, into the seventh fret on the G. And then going down to seven five on the D. So five on the G, and seven five on the D. So when you're hearing fills in the in the verse, um, that's where they're all going to be. Uh, you're going to hear them around those. You'll hear that that lick a little later in the song. And it's just really kind of around those four notes. So if you hear something, <laughs> mess around there a little bit. All right, so um, so we don't get too technical with it. All right, so then we get to uh, so the the second time the intro comes around. Those chords in the background are not being strong with acoustic and the same. And then we have the verse coming around again, and once again, now we're strumming, strumming the chords. All right, 
so nothing new there. And then we get to the chorus section, uh, which sounds like this. So that is just a C major chord to a G to a D minor chord. Now this one kind of makes sense to use your uh, ring finger there, right? D minor is the same note as in the G chord. And just repeat that. C now when it gets to the A minor, there's a little arpeggio. Arpe arpeggio figure going there. Uh, so I'm playing this A minor, and then I'm just playing the open A and the D string, then going B, C, uh, G. And then it goes to the F chord, and it has the same picking off the F major chord, except you're going to be starting the low E string there. So hit that. Then the D string, B, G. And then get to that G. And the arpeggio stops. Uh, you might have noticed that I just played the F initially with just the... Because I didn't need that note on the A string. So you can play it with your thumb over, kind of Hendrix style if you want. Then it ends with a C major chord and then this little like... So we have the C major, then slide up that note on the third string, I mean, sorry, note the third fret on the A string, up to the fifth fret, open G, third fret on the B, and then back down to the C. All right, so then we go through the verse and the chorus again, nothing changes pretty much. The fills might be a little bit different. So watch out for that, but we've talked about that. All right, then we get to the bridge section, um, and it it sounds like this. I won't sing the guitar solo, I'll play it. All right, so the bridge, here we go. The A minor chord. There is a slight fill in here I'll show you too. A minor. To the G chord, back to the A minor. Now around there, right at, There's a little fill. Because you're kind of sliding into the 14 on the D, and play 14 on the G, and slide down to the 12th fret, and then play the 12th fret on the G. All right, so that's there too if you want to play that. So we have that A minor to the G, and then one more time with that. Then we get to the C chord, to the D minor, and here we end with an E major chord, and that's the beginning of the guitar solo that starts there. All right, so now this is kind of leading into the guitar solo, and then we start the actual chord progression underneath the solo. Now this is kind of a different chord progression here. Um, one, because it's using this E major throughout, even though there's a very definitive part of the solo where they're playing a G natural against it. And I'll kind of bring that up when it happens. Um, while playing an E major under it. So you have an E major with a under it. I mean, a G natural under it. So that's kind of, you know, so you would think that'd be an E minor chord that they would 
use. But uh, they're not. So let's, uh, let me play through the chords for the uh, uh, solo real quick. So that's just kind of so you can place where the solo is at over it. So it starts with the F chord to the G to E minor. Now that's this is going to be the part of the solo where he goes. He plays that in the solo, which is a G natural with a G sharp in the chord underneath it. But it works. They make it work. I don't know how. But all right. So F. minor. Now this time we play almost the same thing, we're just going to skip that E. F to G. And then when we go back the third time is when the octaves start in the solo. And then we had the same to A minor. So we did that E in there. fun stuff is here. Let's play this solo real quick again for you and uh, then we'll take a look at it note for thy note. So there we go. By the way, I'm kind of using still the same setup here. Um, I've got this kind of in the kind of a split coil position. Well, this kind of fourth position here, not split coil, but um, I don't know, kind of this solo's got an interesting tone about it. So here we go. So what I'm doing in this solo is kind of how he plays it live. There's a lot of harmony guitar work in this, as you guys can hear. Um, you're not going to be able to play that live. So let's do it like he does it. So Rudolf Schenker plays it like I just did. So you can kind of play the notes up to it, and then he chooses which line he's going to play for the harmony line when he gets there, and he takes the most important one. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so let's start here with this. First phrase there. So that's the uh, ninth fret on the G to 10 on the B to 12 on the B. Kind of a half step bend and release there. Then we're going to go back through this again. Same three. But when you get to the, the 12th fret, you're going to do a half step bend and release twice. So we have. And then a bend at the twenty, uh, the fifteenth fret. I'm sorry. And then we're to this next phrase. Just a beautifully melodic solo. Just really, really cool. Um, so we this. So we had the fifth fret there a couple of times on the high E. And seven, seven, eight. And then he plays a kind of uh, seven, hammer eight, pull back off seven, over to five. Over to eight on the B, back to the five on the high E, and then into the bend of the eighth fret on the B. Then we play 8-5-8, eight, eight. and 
in a bin. And we'll release that bin. For this. And then we're gonna play this. That's right there, that note that goes up to the G natural while they're actually playing an E major chord with a G sharp in it under it. So that's five, six. Bend up a whole step. And then you're gonna pull off six to five, over to seven on the G, back to five on the B. And you're gonna do a bend and release of the seventh fret on the G. Pull off to five, back to that seven. All right, so this is when the uh, harmony parts really start kicking in. We're gonna play the most important one, the one that he plays. So that's kind of like that we started a solo, nine on the G, 10 on the B. Kind of the bend and release there um, at the 12th fret, half step. Then hold it and grab the 12 on the high E string. Then pick the 12 on the B and release it. Really cool. And then up to the 20th fret bend on the uh, B string. And then, which is just 12, 18, 17. And when you get that 17, hammer back to 18, pull back off. All right, then we get to the octaves. Looks like this. All right, so those octaves are gonna start here. Seven on, on the D string, 10 on the B. You're gonna have to mute all the other strings. Then I'm gonna call out the note that the first finger, you keep this octave shape going. I'm gonna call out the note of the index finger, the fret of the index finger. So, so keep it on the same strings. Slide up to 10, back down to nine. Hit that again. Then go to 10 again. Slide up to 12. And then play 14. The way of this. And here, when he plays live, he leaves the octaves. So he just does a hammer on seven to nine on the G and back to seven on the G string. And then jump up here and play 10 on the G. And then a bend and release of the 15th fret on the B string. And then we're gonna end it with this. All right, so that's a bend of the 19th fret. And then bend again, release, play 17, 19. And then you're gonna jump up here. Now my guitar, this guitar that I chose to do this lesson with is only 21 fret guitar, but he grabs a 22nd fret and bends it up a whole step. So I'm gonna have to bend it up a step and a half to equal that, get to that high E. But uh, I'm not a wuss, I can do it. But anyway, I would recommend grabbing the 22nd fret on your guitar and bending up there to that last note. All right, and that is just about it for this track. Great solo, some really cool guitar, some cool fills, beautiful song. And if you can whistle, you can really put it all together. All right, hope to see you guys again soon. Please subscribe to the channel. Please go to the website and support me there, guitarlessons365.com. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.